Welcome back. In this session, we'll explore Azure AD Tenant Information Retrieval using the Microsoft Graph API and PowerShell. The objective is to familiarize ourselves with the process of extracting crucial details from an Azure AD tenant. Before we dive into the tasks, let's understand our goal. This lab aims to provide you with practical experience in retrieving essential information from a Microsoft Azure tenant. We'll focus on four key tasks, each addressing different aspects of tenant information. Let's start with task one. Our first step is to retrieve and display essential organization contact details, including the display name, location, and business phone numbers. This task helps us to understand how to retrieve and display essential organization contact details using Microsoft Graph PowerShell module. After task one, we will take our learning to next step and we will look into task two where we will explore how to include details about the assigned plans for the organization. This task will give us insights into the plans that are currently assigned. Next, we will perform task three where we'll learn how to extract information about application registrations. This includes details such as display name, app it, and sign in audience. This exercise is your go-to task in each of your assignments within your project. And at last, we will perform task for where we will learn how to retrieve service principles within the tenant, exploring the landscape of service identities that exist using Microsoft Graph API. So now let's jump into the Visual Studio code and write the code for all these tasks and after code writing for each exercises we will run the one by one and discuss the output. Now we are into Visual Studio code. Let's create a file to perform our task. Click on file give a name called for tenant information retrieval.ps1. Now file gets created, let's write the code to perform all the four tasks which we have discussed. Task 1, Retrieve and Display Organization Contact Details. For this task, we will use Get My Organization commands and to retrieve. Task 2, Retrieve and Display Organization Assigned Plans. For this task, we will use the same command with select object with expand parameter to retrieve assigned plans. Task 3, list application registrations in the tenant. For this task, we will use get mg application command with select object to select display name, app ID, sign in audience. Task 4, list service principles in the tenant. For this task, we will use different command call to retrieve service principle. Now we have completed the code writing task. It's time to execute the command. So let's go to line number two and select. After selection, do the right click and select run selection. You will notice that it throws error as we are not connected. So let's connect first then rerun. So how we can connect it? If you remember in our last session, we have used connect graph command. Here also we will use the same for establishing the connection. So let's write connect graph. Select this line and right click and select run selection. This will open a browser select to specify your credential to connect. Go back to PowerShell, you will notice that it got connected. Now again, select line number two, Right click and select run selection. Now this time you will see it has returned me the requested details. Some values are blank as I haven't filled in as it is developer tenant, but in real world you will get all these information filled in. Now let's proceed further and execute task two. To do that we will select line number six and right click and select run selection. You see that it has returned all the license information. Now let's proceed further and execute task three, but before that let's clear the terminal first so that we will see the output neatly. Now go to line number nine select and right click and select run selection. You see that it has returned all the registered application information. Now let's proceed further and execute task four, but again, let's clear the terminal first so that we will see the output neatly. 
Now go to line number 12 select and right click and select run selection. You will notice that it haven't returned anything as there is not PowerShell named server sprinkle. So let's change it to SharePoint. Let's rerun it by selecting line number 12 again right click and run selection. Now you will notice that it has returned three service principle and output and all service principle contains word SharePoint. So guys, this is what I wanted to demonstrate you in this session. On this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session.